Welcome back to Bluebell Island for episode 14 with me, Mr. Sealy P. I thought I would start off today's episode with a bit of contracting. Field 1 and 2 down the bottom are ready to harvest. Looking around the rest of the farm at the moment, field 17 is being seeded, sown, um, with, I'm trying to remember, soybean I think it is. 16 has been done with soybean. 18 is in the process of being ploughed. I believe, yes. 20 has been ploughed and cultivated. Uh, where are we? Field 9 is being seeded with corn. I believe it is. Because um, I need plenty of corn. 7 obviously down there has got corn in it as well. 1 will be for, uh, for silage, hopefully. But then to be fair, I haven't used any of what's in the bunker. Um, not yet anyway. And field 11 is ready to be harvested of OSR, canola, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to get a harvester up there and we're going to crack on with that. But I thought I'd start with a little bit of contracting, get the money up a little bit. Now, on the right hand side, as far as the uh, New Holland 8340 goes, the general consensus is keep it. There have been a few people that said get rid of it, you could do with the money, but the general consensus, keep the New Holland. Have them both. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep them. Uh, have them both on the farm. The more tractors I've got, the easier the work will be um, so that will be staying so a bit of contracting work I think won't go amiss now having bought the Kramer um, to do the job of a telehandler obviously since then the Merlot's come out and I'm seriously considering getting one but I might wait to the next let's play or I might get one on Westbridge Hills or I might get one on all of them I don't know I haven't quite decided yet but we'll see what happens um, so anyway back to what I was originally going to do Let's get down here and click on field one. This shouldn't take too long. It's quite a small field. Now let's see where it puts this harvester. Okay, it's not too bad. I've had to put in bushes and all sorts. The problem is destroys the crops. Now anyone who watched my um, Miss Silipion tour when we went to Alien Jim's farm, he had one of these and I do like this harvester. It's another very small one that would fit this farm very very well but it's not an old harvester so that's why I've got the two Matty Bergsons. This is a, I say fairly new, it's not that new but it's a lovely harvester. I always prefer doing the contracting jobs from a harvest. If you do it from a harvest, you can run through a whole load of contracting jobs, one after the other. You can harvest, you can uh, slurry spread or slurry inject, and then you can um, plough, if it needs ploughing, cultivate seed, then there'll be probably another fertiliser spread or spray. Um, so you can get quite a few contracting jobs off of one field when you do it from the harvesting stage. Now obviously the bigger the fields, if you get the ploughing jobs, they can take a while, depending on the size of the field and depending on the size of the plough, obviously. And I have tried all sorts of techniques. I even tried on one, I think it might have been the old stream farm, of doing circles, just driving around and around uh, with the plough swinging around behind, um, especially on the bigger ones, the Salford plough and those kind of things. Um, did it speed it up? <sighs> Negligible. It might have done a little bit, but it just looked a mess and I, I just couldn't cope with that. Build over is, I think, sugar beet. Yeah, that'll take a little bit longer because it'll probably give me the, uh, the grim... Grimmer. I'm still not quite sure, actually. 
how to pronounce that. Almost there. Hopefully. You won't see the mess I made at the other end. <laughs> What's that? 5,624. Not bad at all. Like I say, a few jobs on this one, and we'll get the money up. Let's see what equipment they're offering on here, and how much it'll pay. Probably in the region of 6,000, I reckon. There you go, 6,037. That was complete guesswork, by the way. Um, right, I will do this one as well. This bit, I'll, won't, I won't show the whole thing. I do like a Deutz farm. I do like all of them. I th <laughs> there aren't many tractors on here I don't like. I like tractors. Ooh. Can't drive them, but I do like them. Okay, let's see how we get on. It's always a lot harder. I generally, if I use this equipment, I'll send one tractor over topping and then another tractor going along collecting. I know you can hook them up like this, this is the whole point. Speeds the process up and only uses one tractor. But it becomes quite hard for turning, i found, at the end of fields. What we can do. Well, firstly, what I should do is lift that up, really, but there's not a lot of room. You just kind of almost swing around straight away, but then you end up running over some of the crops. It's, I don't know, it's not the best way of doing it, but... It will have to do... It's getting done anyway, that's the main thing, isn't it? Doing the job I was given to do in a kind of harsh way, it's not my equipment, so if I do damage it, it's not the end of the world. Well, not for me, but see what I mean? Mm, it's hard to get it round. And the problem is if you stop and you lift it and you turn around and do the next row and the next row, it slows the process down so much that your time limit runs out, especially on contracting jobs. So keep that machine moving. Right, I'll see you at the end. When I've butchered this field. And there we have it, another successful harvest, 7,688 dollars. I still haven't changed this back to euros, have I? Still on dollars. That's from Westbridge Hills, don't worry. 7,000. Nice. Okay, there are lots more contracting jobs to be done on these fields. So, what I'm going to do 
Just say goodbye to you for a little while. Bearing in mind what time is it? 3.37 in the afternoon. Uh, I'll see how long it takes me to get these done. And I'll see you in a little bit. The fields are continuing. I'll show you all the various different bits of machinery that are doing their job. We'll move the harvester up to field 11 to get the OSR done on there. Um, trying to think what other jobs need doing today. We'll see. Oh, that's something. I will do something else later on. Something coming up. A bit of a barn find, um, which I'll show you later on. I'll see you in a bit. Knowing what I'm like for contracting, I didn't just do those two fields. I did a few more little bits spraying and fertilizing here and there, and we're up to 211,000. It's now quarter past five in the afternoon. We're on field nine. And the corn harvest I've put in here has just finished. Let's just turn to the back, close that. This will go back to the farm. The worker can do that in a little while. The seeding of field 17 is also continuing, however, the seed is running very very low in the cedar that is going to need to be filled up definitely needs to be filled up the fertilizer spreader is over there on the zettor that'll be able to do the next couple of rows in a minute they're just holding off until a bit more of the seeding has been done so that is all progressing as it should be the hurleyman with the cultivator is up at field 11 this is the field that needs to be harvested next. This has got OSR in it. The harvester will need to be brought up and this will be done in a moment, not too far away. But before we do any of that, the harvester needs to be emptied and it will be taken up to field 11. This has got the soybean off of field 18. Field 18 has now been ploughed and has it been cultivated? Yeah, cultivated and fertilised. Those workers are busy bees, aren't they? I'm going to do something a little bit different with that field, actually. Thinking about it. This will go down into storage. I'll give a little bit to the pigs, whatever they need. Oh, actually, no, soybeans worth it's worth a bit of money, isn't it? We'll put this in storage, um, and then we'll sell it. We'll give them a crop that's not worth as much. That's probably the best bet. Otherwise, we're throwing money away. We can't afford to be doing that. I mean, that said, 211,000 is not to be sniffed at. And I think the next thing's going to be to buy another field, I think. Yeah. Brilliant. So with that offloaded, this will need to go up to field 11 because we'll need to collect the crops from there. Um, let's have a look, actually, what have we got in storage? Just quickly check. Wheat, barley. Got quite a bit of barley. 10,000 litres of soybean, that's good because that'll need to be sold. Corn we need for the pigs. What's the cheaper of the two? OSR is cheaper than... Mm, no, about the same sort of price, isn't it? OSR and sunflowers are about the same kind of price, so I can just make a choice there. I'll use one of those to feed to the pigs. Um, bearing in mind I have got... Just suddenly reminding myself. OSR I'm about to harvest. I've got field five here that I'm actually growing sunflowers in. So I'll have more sunflower. That'll be growing. So I've got some of each of those crops still coming through. Tank is empty. Oh, that'll be filled 17. Don't need to refill the tank and crack on with that. Right, I'm going to get this up to the field, up to field 11. We'll also then get the harvester, which is now empty, up to the field. And we'll get the harvest done over there. All lots of daily jobs to be getting on with. The animals are all OK at the moment. They don't need anything. Um, oh, I said about, didn't I, the barn find? I'm going to go and show you that in a little while. I mustn't forget. Doing all that contracting completely went out of my head. Bureau's doing a cracking job on this map. It was suggested with the new mods coming out of the Merlot that I should trade in the Kramer and get the Merlot. 
the Merlot's a modern, a much more modern vehicle. I mean, the Kramer's a modern vehicle, but it's small. It kind of fits the map. The Merlot I will be holding on uh, and doing it on a different map, I think. I might get one on Westbridge Hills, but definitely on the next map I do, I will be getting one on there. As I said, provided Bullet Bill's okay with me doing a Let's Play on it, and Oxygen David, I want to do the West Coast. And I know lots of people are already doing, the PC guys have got early release versions, they're already cracking out the Let's Plays on there. But I think it's always nice to do it from the PS4 perspective as well. Um, and I've got a couple of ideas, like I said before, of how I want to how I want to tackle it, something a little bit different to what I've done before. Anyway, right, let's go and sort out this cedar and then get the harvester up here. It is certainly a dirty business doing the seeding. This is filthy. Fill it up. Lovely job. Close the cover. Let's get back over to the field and get it finished. Whoa, what did I hit? More repairs. Back to the old toolbox later on, I think bit of tinkering after hours. I can't believe how quickly the day's going by as well. I suppose it's been two or three episodes, but it does seem to be flying past and it'll be night time again. Another day done on the farm. And still enjoying it immensely. I know a lot of people don't like this map. It's not for them, they prefer the bigger stuff and, you know, I totally understand that. Everybody has different tastes. And a lot of people did comment and say they don't particularly like the map, they wouldn't necessarily play it themselves, but they enjoy watching the Let's Play on it. That's fantastic. I'm glad you're enjoying watching the Let's Plays. That's all wonderful news. If you didn't catch my... Uh, I put a link up for the black sheep modding um, the 850 um, hook, the lorry hook lift conversion. Let's start that up. Hopefully, I've got that right. Yeah, I'm out by a little bit. I'm not the end of the world. Should be fine. Right now, he's going again. We can get back to the harvester and get that harvester moved. Hopefully, I won't miss that whole strip. But we'll see. Um, yeah, so that'll be coming out soon. Looking forward to that greatly. So if you look on my Facebook channel, uh, Facebook page under Mr. Silly P, uh, put up some links. I've also put up as well today. If you're not on my Facebook page already, go over, have a look. Um, Alien Jim, who I did one of the farm visits with, with Silly EG, has just put up um, a, a kind of where he's got to so far on his map. So I've posted that. Have a look. Let us know what you think. Myself or Jim, just let us know what you think about it be nice obviously it's a work in progress only downside to these harvesters they're quite slow it takes a while to get anywhere but we are finally at field 11 let's get this done uh, once i've set the worker on this to get going i am then going to take you and show you the barn find okay and running. I'm hoping it'll finish the whole field without filling up. 
but it might do. We'll kind of see how we get on with that. I think the fertiliser spreader needs to be refilled as well. Everything seems to be running out all at the same time, so... We've got the cultivator ready up here. We've got the trailer ready to unload this. Uh, this won't need ploughing again. This was ploughed and this hasn't been reused three times yet, so we should be good. This will just need cultivating and we should be OK. All good news. Jolly good driver. We are in the 8340, the one that I'm going to keep. I am going to keep it. Uh, I'm just going to take this sewing machine back from field 9, put that away, and I'm going to use this to go and take you to where I wanted to go. And this is all part of the narrative of the farm. So just go with it, it'll all be fine. Put that in there, I think. Come on, chickens, out the way. Make sure I don't hit the crone tedder, which seems to be okay. Lower that down and drop it off. Perfect, right. Let's go and see this, shall we? Ah, chickens, go away. I'm down at the old mill. Um, just over the little bridge. I'll oh, stop the engine. Um, I haven't been down here actually to this sail point yet, whilst I've been doing the let's play. So we've come over the bridge, the castle's just over there, the two fields that I did my um, contracting on the start of the episode are just here. Now, this, is, this isn't where the barn find is, this is a slight aside to this. I just wondered if anyone else had noticed this. Well, you probably Excuse me, you probably have noticed this. Um, when the update came along for this map, if you've been playing on this, um, the water was changed. Now, I personally, and I'm, you know, personally, I think the ripples are too big. It looks too kind of flat. It works better, apparently. It's been changed. I love the effect of the original one, and I said that when the update came along. But what I have noticed is this. Now, people keep talking about global warming sea levels rising and you know small islands like this will be practically flooded if anything the opposite has happened the sea levels receded this was all this was a river i mean it, it was a river um not anymore there's a trickle that side but that's it quite disturbing i have to say so yeah wherever you know where i am bluebell island no problem with climate change our sea levels are receding. We're actually getting more land to farm. Awesome. But anyway, yeah, that's a slight aside. Um, I'm going to go past the dairy farm, which does mean I can drive across here now. Um, bit of a cut through. I'm not submerged. And on my kind of travels around the map, I've been looking at different things. I've found that and kind of thought, oh, well, that's interesting. It sort of stood out quite a lot. Um, there are a couple of parts of the island I haven't been to. I did on the first at map tour, but haven't been since. So that's where we're going to head. Actually, I'll tell you what I haven't done. Have I uncovered this? This doesn't need doing. There we go. Right. That's been ready for absolutely ages. Bunker silo was opened at last. The reason I haven't touched it was because I still had a couple of, well, four or five silage bales there. So I was, I was good for that. I think the cows are okay. They seem to be all right. This door doesn't close, does it? I'm worried about them getting away. Just wandering off. Mind you, they can't get far, can they? Let's be honest, I'm going to look for them. I'm not going to find them too far away on the island. All is good. Anyway, I'm see, I'm getting sidetracked again. So, off we go. Now, the um, southeastern tip corner, not really a corner, of Bluebell Island. It's got a little bridge going over. There's a, there's a tiny little kind of mini island. I came here on the uh, first look, but something intriguing in my wanderings I came across. I want to say a barn find. I mean, it's not actually in the barn, which probably explains the state of it. 
but oh hang on I've just noticed something else as well hang on right let's do the barn find first it's not in the barn I was kind of having to wander around just being nosy as you do actually this is in very good condition not quite sure what I'd put over here but yeah anyway but behind the barn is this the Keenan this is a food mixer mech fiber 340 I mean it's in a bit of a state I'll be honest it's uh, pretty rusted up I'm not quite sure let's have a look in the back whoa hmm I don't know if this will actually run whether it will work whether I can use it or not but it's here it probably would have been in much better condition if it had been left inside the barn rather than out here lashed by the winds and rains off the sea the sun, the weather conditions sap and rubbish off the trees and whatever runs off the roof pouring straight into there so we'll see, I don't know what it's going to be like but I just noticed something else what have we got around here? ah a water tanker it's pretty old as well that's pretty rusty don't know what the inside would be like but might as well grab it something a bit useful, something to use right Let's start off. I'll take that back. Let's take the, the Keenan. Happy days. Always nice when you find something you didn't know was here. Right, let's see if we can get this out. Hopefully the axle's not seized or the bearings or you know, the wheel bearings, anything like that. Nope, it's moving. That's good. Right, OK, well, get this back. Might have to be a bit of a tinker on this, I think bit of a tidy up, bit of a clean up, see if we can get it working and uh, we can use this alongside the uh, Gavile feet mixer which is designed for round bales mainly I love it, it's a very, very 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 good bit of kit but this should take square bales a bit easier I guess if I can get it working we will see fingers crossed I have to say, I call that a result. That's good news. Um, I'll go back for the little water tank thing later on. Mind you, if that's all rusted inside, it might not be any good for putting water in. We'll see. I don't want to make the animals ill. Little flecks of rust and everything in it. But I think the harvest is done. So it did do it in one full load. Which means I've only got... Well, it has to be under 9,000 litres. I'm sure I got that off this field originally. Oh, it was barley I did the first time, wasn't it? Yeah, it was barley. Um, so I'm thinking that's not a very good yield considering I ploughed it and fertilised it and did all the rest of it. Um, but, yeah, it is what it is. Perfect, right, let's unload that. Start that up. Interesting, isn't it, that when I did my uh, uh, farm visit to myself back on Bjornholm, if you haven't watched that one, go and have a look. Uh, back in time. My new self visiting my old self. Um, this OSR was the crop that made you the most money. And even then that was only just over a thousand. So if I look now at the prices in here, what was it going for now? OSR canola, yeah, 1,300, 1,356, 1,355, 
the prices are better, aren't they, than they were on 15? And we have got some additional crops now. The prices of wheat and barley are probably about the same, not much different there. But um, yeah, this is definitely. So now I'm torn. It does look like this is a slightly more. It pays better than sunflower. So I'm thinking I'll feed the pig sunflower in the OSR. I'll, um, I'll sell. Probably the best bet. Let's close that. This will go back. Right now, get the cultivator on here and get this ready for its next crop. We are turning and burning. The OSR is on the way back to the farm to be put into storage. The cultivator is now working its way on field 11. The harvester will come back um, and the next episode is going to be I need to do field 18 and field 20 need to be seeded I'm going to do something slightly different on one of those haven't decided which yet I've also decided on a new field but I'm going to do that again slightly differently um, hopefully not incurring any costs which will be interesting to see if I can and that Keenan mech fiber I'm going to do a bit of work on that off screen I think trying to sort it out for use and as is always the case another episode bolts by like lightning I hope you have enjoyed it I hope you're enjoying the uh, the experience on the golden days of farming on Bluebell Island I certainly am and I hope you're enjoying following along with my trolls and tribulations if you are give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share the video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.